Welcome to this Windows channel, and this is the story of a feature gone bad. Well, basically, it's a story of me trying to actually uh, use and work with something that I think is great, except it's that feature that you'll love to hate after you start using it a little bit. So. I'm talking about control folder access. So of course I showed you how to turn it on, how it works in two videos uh, last week. And of course I turned mine on and I decided to use it until I just couldn't, just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> so I mean, it's sad because it's a feature that has amazing promises of what it can do and prevent you know, us from getting ransomware or getting our files encrypted by ransomware. But the thing is, I just got to say that this feature is kind of really screwed up. So, of course, in the uh, Windows Defender, if you go to um, the Windows Defender Security Center, there you click Virus Threat and Protection. Well, you got something called Control Folder Access, and I showed you that if you turn it on, you could have, of course, you have protected folders, which are the general folders uh, like documents, pictures, videos, music, and so on. Your desktop also. And it uh, basically meant that you could stay protected from any programs that um, wanted to have access to it. But that also means that when you turn this on, you got to also... Um, allow apps through and it's very complicated because the apps that you allow through it you need to find the executable and the first thing I've seen is a lot of people telling me well I can't find the executable for this and that and I mean we got to be enthusiasts to know that because I mean regular folks regular people have no idea where the executable of something is um, so that's the first thing setting it up is really complicated I set it up I had set up a ton of apps that went through restarted my machine, everything was okay. Until one app started, you know, downloading an update. And then I got Office to upload, download an update. Now my Office wouldn't work anymore because because of the update, it wasn't approved anymore. And I had to remove, and that's the awkward thing, remove the executable and add the executable again for it to finally work again. And after three days, I just gave up. The hell with this feature <laughs> but you know what it's sad because control folder access is such a such nice promises but it's it's so awkward i just can't believe somebody out there put this there and said oh that is quite all right like this it's just crazy uh, when you think about it so i um am sending a uh, set of feedback hub posts concerning controlled folder access with what I think would be the best thing to do with this, to make it easier to use. And um, it's, it's just really, really sad that it doesn't work well. So for now, control folder access will not be used, and it's almost a useless feature unless you really do nothing with your PC, you know. Uh, and the idea behind it is that, well, if you do something with your PC, you want to have control folder access. So, you know, I just can't understand that that's for sure so uh, that's my little story of control folder access um, and I've you know had many of you guys uh, telling me oh well you know what there's uh, a lot of things that I tried and it just doesn't work well yeah you're right it doesn't work well so um, it's just crazy just crazy when you think about it anyways um, back to, uh, I think Microsoft needs to go back to the drawing board with this and, um, I don't know, show us that it's really good because it ain't right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.